Greetings fellow programmers, this is Pavel and this is an exercise uh, 714, chapter 7, exercise 14 from the C Sharp How to Program book. Uh, and in this exercise we will write a method called integer power uh, that will return the value of base exponent, uh, for example, integer power of 3 and 4 as an argument, 3 and 4, uh, calculates 3 to the power of 4, which basically means that you multiply 3 4 times with each other, with itself. So 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 is 3 to the power of 4. Assume that exponent is a, a positive integer that, uh, and that base is an integer too. Uh, so method integer power should use a for or a while loop to control the calculation and we are not supposed to use the math library methods instead we will have to use the uh, loop incorporate this method into an app that reads integer values for base and exponent and performs the calculation with the integer power method now when you look at this the integer power will exp uh, uh, have uh, two arguments one for the base in this example it's the number 3, the one for the exponent which is 4 and then we will calculate 3 which is the base times 3 times 3 times 3 4 times right so, which is the exponent so when you have a loop basically what the exponent means in the loop is how many times we will loop how many iterations the loop will make so we will make in this case 4 of them for iterations and in each we will multiply the number itself with itself. Alright, uh, so let's just do that. First I'm going to do a console.write line or just write and I'm going to ask the user to enter a base. And um, I will expect the base or accept it in uh, well, I cannot call it base because that's a that's a C sharp keyword. So I will just say base number, so, and it will be the number that the user enters. So, but it, since we need an integer, and the uh, input is uh, always a string, we'll have to convert it to integer, and we will simply read the input from the read line console.read line so whatever is uh, on that line we will convert to an integer and save it in our base number variable which is gonna be an integer and we will do the same for the uh, for the exponent please enter an exponent and it's gonna be the same thing so I'm just gonna copy it except it's gonna gotta be called exponent so now we have our base now we have our exponent and we can create a met <coughs> method private uh, integer integer means that it will return an integer basically it will return the result of the calculation integer power and it expects the base and the exponent so I will just pass it to it as an argument so integer base base number now these even though I name it the same as this this is a different uh, variable in fact let me name it something else just so it doesn't confuse you uh, if you if you're new to C sharp uh, it may be confusing using the same name for two variables but uh, that's the scope of the variable the one that we are passing here would only be available in this method uh, while this one is only available here unless we actually pass it which we will into another method but I'm gonna call it something else just uh, to make it clear that these are two different uh, variables and the other integer will be the exponent I'll just call it expo and uh, in it we I need to create another variable I'll just call it result it's gonna be an integer 
uh, I'm just gonna initialize it to zero and this is what will uh, hold the result of the calculation now they want us to use a loop and uh, I'm gonna use a for loop so for and I'm gonna do the classic i equals zero but what i how many times are we gonna iterate and like I said before the exponent basically in this uh, calculation equals the number of iteration in the loop so uh, from i equals zero to i is uh, less than the exponent so if you pass the number four as an exponent it will simply say i equals zero i is less than four so it's gonna be zero one two three which is four iterations again remember we're starting from zero so and i plus plus and in it how do you multiply the uh, the numbers well you have the result and you basically multiply that with the with the base so the result at the beginning equals zero so i will just simply do result multiplied and add it to the uh, oops not number uh, i meant the base number so what this does whatever value is stored in the result will be multiplied by base so the result will be increasing with, with each iteration so at the beginning let's say the number is 3 so it's gonna be 3 multiplied by 3 which is 9 then you're gonna be, have 9 multiplied by 3 and so forth so uh, uh, this will give us the basically the 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 if you look at it, 3 multiplied by 3 is 9, then you multiply 9 by 3, uh, that's 27, then you multiply 27 uh, by 3. And this is what we are doing over here in this loop. And uh, at the end we'll simply return the result. So we can come over here to our main method, and now we can... Uh, assign another variable uh, again I can call it a result or whatever but I'll, I'll just call it something else again so it doesn't confuse you uh, result of cal calculations equals and it equals whatever this uh, method returns whatever is basically going to be calculated and stored in the result will be passed into our result of calc uh, variable over here so it's simply we will call the integer power method and we will pass you can see that it's already asking for uh, the uh, two integers so we will pass the base number to it as the first one and the exponent as the second one and um, it's not happy about something it says cannot access non-static method all right uh, the main is uh, a static method so it cannot access this one because i didn't declare it as static so all i have to do is just private static so now we have the result it calls the the uh, the method returns the result we have it stored and now we can simply output it and we can do something like console that uh, right line and I will I will format the output in something like uh, the number which is gonna be the first placeholder to the power of the exponent is and this is gonna be the result so when I uh, when it's formatted it will be basically saying 3 to the power of 4 equals and it's 81 so that, that should be the result so I will pass the base number uh, as the uh, the placeholder zero. The second one will be exponent, and the last placeholder is for the result. And uh, that's basically it. Let me build it and run it. I have the name result. Ah, oh, that's because I didn't call it result. I call it result of calculations. 
this result is not accessible from here. It's simply being passed into our result of calculation. So that's what I need to use in my final output, the result of calculation. So it compiled, let's run it. Uh, let's say the base is three, the exponent is four, and three to the power of four is zero. Well, that's something wrong, obviously. So it loops here. So result is zero, so it starts zero multiplied by three, while well, that's gonna be zero, and then zero multiplied by another three is zero, and so forth. So I initialize the result over here to zero, which is a mistake because uh, you basically multiply each number by zero, which will give you zero always. So result, we start with one instead of zero. That should take care of that. So let's try it again. Three to the power of four, and it's a 81. So three to the power of four is 81. So let's try another one. And let's say uh, six to the power of five. And uh, well, let me let me check that. If it's seven thousand seven seven six, so it's six. Oops, sorry. Uh, six to the power of five. I'm doing something wrong. Six to the power of five equals. Uh, it's not even working for me. So never mind. Six by six by six by six by one more five of them. Seven thousand seven hundred seventy-six. So that's working fine. So uh, yeah, this is the calculator. Very simple. We collect the input. Now we will call the method integer power, which will calculate. Uh, we will pass the base and the exponent we will loop through it uh, as many times as the exponent is in uh, again if we go by the example given to us then we will loop basically four times from zero to three because i has to be less than four which would be three so zero one two three that's four loops and we will add or multiply the number uh, and add it to the result so when we go, first result is 1, so 1 multiplied by 3 is 3. Now 3 multiplied by 3 is 9. 9 multiplied by 3 is 27, and 27 multiplied by 3 is 81. So when it exits the loop, it, it has the final result in it, and we, it will return it to our variable that we declared over here, result of calculation, and then we simply I'll put it in a little formatted way so it says 3 to the power of 4 is 81. So um, yeah that's that. Hopefully that makes sense, that it was helpful. If it was please leave a like, leave a comment, share with your friends and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.